Hey guys, Jarrell here, back with more episodes of the OA. We're on to episode 7 of season 1. The last one was a fairly short episode, but what we did see was Hep is not having everything his own way for a change, and he's had to murder the other guy, the opponent, his mentor, whoever it was, um, who was close, as he is, to try to figure some of this N um, ND stuff out and right at the end of the episode he's so focused on what he's doing he's not realized he's left his door open or locked at least and his local copper the one who we saw speaking to him um has walked in behind him seen all the cameras and has just put a gun to his back of his head and that's pretty much where it ended so we're going to hopefully pick it right off there and see what happens next i'm expecting the cop to end up dead next. Let's go find out. This is episode seven. The first time, I ignored the instinct. I had the premonition, but I didn't connect it to the bus. I was too young to understand. Maybe this time, just accept it. Whatever happens, just claim it. If I could suggest, it might be nice for you guys to do something together. Something you might do if she were home from school or back after a long trip. Uh, something to help normalize your family life. All right, uh, Homer's movement in a second, but really slow to start. Now you, uh, you gotta keep your wrists, like, just a little tighter, you know? Well, I've been on the phone all afternoon. Oh, yeah? Had to shell out $5,000 to the Breckhoffs. Rebecca Breckhoff was screaming bloody murder at me for two goddamn hours. If I didn't offer to pay their medical deductible, she was going to call the police and sue us. I messed up. All right? Look, I'll be back down. Oh, hell. Let's go. We're on a schedule. I just think it's an extremely rash and, frankly, unprofessional reaction to a troubled boy. He broke a kid's throat, Betty. Hi, sorry. Um... You're the Michigan Miracle, right? Prairie Johnson? Oh, uh, can I take a picture with you? That's bleeding ignorant. Sorry. Um, you're such an inspiration, really. Freaking nervous on people. Beaten like that and raped. I can't even imagine. I'm gonna go back there and make her delete it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just have a good time. Kick anything and I will fucking end you. I'm tired. Good. I'm gone. I'm out of here. Not if you listen to me closely, Stephen, okay? You're going to say you have to go to the bathroom. Are you fucking insane? Just listen. You say that they're molesting you, then I'll back it up because I'm just an onlooker. That man is molesting that boy. He's. He. He's molesting him. Who the fuck is she, bro? You hit her? No, man, she's fucking insane. Lady, we got papers signed by that kid's parents, all right? We're a reform school. Well, the last I checked, molestation is illegal in all 50 states. Back the fuck up or we'll run you over. Stop! Stop! She's a fucking Stop! bastard crazy, man. I have something you'll want. What do you have? Okay, I'll get it. It's $50,000. What? $50,000. It's 50000 a cashier's check. I'll give it to you. Is this real? Just let him go. What are yes. you doing? Look at this. $50,000? I don't believe she's just... Ah, uh, money talks. Uh, what? I'm, I'm being crazy. I'm being the crazy one. Because I don't want that stupid girl to have our daughter's picture to do anything she wants with it. Imagine all the ways that you were abused, yeah. beaten, hurt. Everything about you. I don't even know. I don't know anything. I don't know anything. Were you in the house? Were you outside? I don't know anything. Oh. What are these? Who did that to you? She did. It's because... two notations of the five movements to open another dimension. She's gonna sound insane. I know, because I am the original angel. There you go. <gasps> you 
told us about your father in Russia. About living on a gated place on the hill and how you followed him into the dark. Into the basement where you would create a new family. And how with that family you found insight. And all of that, you never really told us about them. But you're also here because of them. They medicated me. They didn't know, I know. or understand. They thought I was crazy. They're not my parents. You're just like all the rest of them. You don't give a fuck. We're just your slave labor so you can leave us for your fucking boyfriend. We're just a retarded pit stop for you. No. No. <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with you? How did you survive so long down there? It's a lot stronger than you are. I survived because I wasn't alone. Tonight I will finish telling my story. Are you ready? Okay, tonight she will not finish telling her story. It will be the next episode, which happens to be the season finale. Um, that was more of a slow burn episode than normal. We got nothing of being in the bunker, Hap, the rest of them. That was all the here and now. I don't know what's wrong with him. I mean, he was giving himself a telling off in the shower as to how stupid he was. And then he just goes back and does it again. It's... <sighs> There's a lot of teenage boys that cannot control their emotions, cannot control their violent tendencies. And he just got the opposite response to what he should have got from anyone in that circumstance. Especially as literally only a few moments or hours ago she just give away fifty thousand dollars to ensure that he wasn't taken away by the reform school and those two whatever you want to call them um i think it was a little cruel that she said her parents drugged her she doesn't see them as her parents she doesn't seem to have the, the kind of connection that she should because he is right they are your parents if they are the ones who brought you here and brought you up from being a little girl and took care of you and fed you and um, clothed you and everything else they're your parents but they are of an older generation that didn't quite fully understand what you were what you're going through certainly didn't know what we now possibly know you may be and what else can any parent do other than see that their pain, their child's suffering or in pain, whether it's psychological, mental, physical, whichever, and to go and seek professional help. And unfortunately, because none of them would possibly be able to understand or diagnose what this is, prescription medication was used. So I think that's a little harsh on her. She certainly hasn't let her mom in at all which is why her mum also lashed out the same way as he just did out of frustration of being in and around prairie and her life and her story but not really being let in being held there's a wall between her and her mum like she said, I don't know anything. You've, you've poured your heart out to these five people. Not that she knows that. But you don't let your mum in at all. She doesn't know where you were. Like she said, were you indoors? Were you outdoors? Is that, is that how he smelled? What did he do to you? What are all these marks on you? Ah, <sighs> I don't know. Um, it was quite an interesting episode, but it was a very slow burn one. But we're obviously going to get... The resolution to this possible story and bring it up to date as to how they did actually accomplish this in the next episode so we'll wait and see any more before i try and 
figure out where it's going to go and do any more of a review than that. So we'll be back for the season finale of episode 8 next week guys. So if you want to watch this in full length as always it will be in the description below. You can head over uh, to Patreon to watch it there. By all means give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel please hit the subscribe. Turn notifications on and you'll know when the next season uh, finale of the OA will release including all my other series as well. Right. I will see you for the next one. Till then, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you for the next one. Duh.